You have awakened on a remote island somewhere far into the uncharted ocean. You're still hazy on how you got there, but the important part is how you get home. The island is rich with mysteries, strange doors, ghostly women, unknown deities, and you'll need to unlock all of its secrets if you ever want to get home. Isles of Sea and Sky is a top-down puzzle game with an 8-bit feel. While the aesthetics recall any number of action-adventure games, most notably the Game Boy Color Zelda titles, this one is purely about its puzzles. There's no combat to speak of, you're just trying to master the puzzle on each screen. The puzzle mechanics, and the controls, are deceptively simple. The protagonist can push objects, and that's about it. However, there are an enormous number of puzzle elements that make things more complicated. That includes switches, floor obstacles that allow one-way travel, boxes that behave in different ways, moving floors, teleporters, and a lot more. The puzzles are fair, but they can be a real challenge. One thing that makes this gameplay style feel better is that Isle of Sea and Sky is designed as a semi-open world experience. None of the puzzles are mandatory. Clearing puzzles unlock resources that are used to advance deeper into the story, but if a screen is proving too difficult, the player can always skip it and find those needed resources elsewhere. It's a small change, but one that makes this game a lot less frustrating than some of its predecessors were. Overall, Isles of Sea and Sky is a game custom-made for fans of old-school NES and Super NES-style puzzle games.